The reputation of the church got to us before we even stepped foot in. Everybody said what a welcoming community it was and how even though it was a big parish, it felt small. As long as you're open to the possibilities of what the parish can do for you, there's a lot you can give back to the parish. Some people would think, oh, I don't want to go to a large community because it's too big, I won't feel special or involved, and there are just there are so many ways to get involved. I think that St. Francis is more open than to the youth in just about any place I've ever been to. 25 years ago, made a commitment to create, help create this community. And today, we have to continue to live out that commitment to sustain the community, to meet the needs of the future. blessed we are to celebrate our 25th anniversary. In 1982, a small group of 100 or so families put their faith into action and the Catholic community of St. Francis of Assisi was born. We Franciscan friars came to St. Francis of Assisi Parish because it was the people who invited us. And we knew that this was a people's parish. We knew that right from the start, we would be ministering with people who were in charge who knew what they wanted, and we would be helpers, facilitators, partners in ministry with them. And then, of course, as the parish continued to grow, not only from 1,000 but to 2,000 households, we knew that our small, beautiful church needed to be expanded, that we needed a new worship space. And all of us are responsible and have been responsible for building this wonderful, wonderful worship space. And now we face Again, another need. Our people are strongly recommending that we have more facilities for our school children, more facilities for the Early Childhood Learning Center, more facilities to gather us together as a community so that we might indeed continue to respond to the mission that is St. Francis of Assisi Parish. When I first heard about the gift campaign, my first thought was of bricks and mortar and why do we need more buildings? And I have come through prayer and listening and discernment, to, I've come to the conclusion that this isn't about bricks and mortar, this is about people, this is about connections. We've proven that as we have built each building, as we've created more space, we've created new ministries each time we've done that. And so I really believe that by adding the space, we will not only continue to be welcoming, but we will be welcoming people into new ministries that will not only meet their needs better, but will create an opportunity for them to be able to then reach out and serve others. The prayers and participation of each household were crucial 25 years ago, and they're crucial today. They will make the difference in our future. The growth of our fellowship education and evangelization ministries has joyfully outpaced the physical structures of St. Francis. We need and will all be blessed by each and every sacrificial gift. We're kind of coming in at a, at a time where we'll personally benefit tremendously from the gift campaign and the people who've gotten it this far, I mean, we're, we're benefiting from that. So mm -hmm. we certainly uh, we'll do whatever we can to support the campaign because, mm -hmm. you know, it's, I, I feel like we, we kind of owe it to the people who did the last 25 years worth of stuff to get it this far. Probably the best part about TFS is morning prayer. Just every morning the kids all get together and your kindergartners all the way through your eighth graders, they're up there leading the prayer. They're the ones who are a part of it. And to start the day off that way is, it's inspiring. It, it, still to this day, every time I go, I, I get all teary and <laughs> it's hard to make it through that without. <laughs> but it is, it's an emotional thing to see your kids be a part of this and to watch the older kids do it and be happy to do it. And, and they set a great example. Because the gravitational pull would be stronger than um, when the moon wasn't full.
I began my ministry here in the Catholic community of St. Francis five and a half years ago. I began the day before September 11th. In the aftermath of that tragedy, I witnessed a community that was at once, a parish rather, that was at once a center of worship, a community of welcoming and gathering, and a community of service. Those initial impressions have only been strengthened and reinforced in the last five years. Now we are confronted with a challenge. This parish has grown to 4,700 families, close to 15,000 people. And the challenge before us is this, how will we continue to be a community of worship, a community of welcoming and gathering, a community of service in the face of such enormous numbers? Our facilities and our structures simply are not capable of meeting our needs. This gift campaign, Growing in Faith Together, is simply our way of ensuring that the next generation of Catholic Christians who share in the vitality of this parish will be able to know its power as a community of worship, as a community of gathering and welcome, and as a community of service. There are over 200 volunteers at Catholic Church Outreach. We are the largest food pantry. We are a very gifted community in that we all bring those gifts to participate in the congregation and you start to realize after a while that in fact this is the body of Christ that we're ministering to. The gift campaign to me will facilitate the community to do the work of the body of Christ if you will that will allow us to be Christ to others not only here in the parish but in the community at large if you look at the justice, peace and integrity of creation ministries and the outreach that we do as part of the parish you realize that we just don't need the space for what we do as part of St. Francis, but also as we minister to the community here in Raleigh and, and ultimately when you consider the sister parish and the other activities that we have involved here to the world at large. So to me, the, the gift campaign will facilitate us becoming more the body of Christ to others. The gift campaign is about giving so that we may grow in our faith. It's about putting our faith into action. The gift campaign is unlike other projects we've undertaken. The Diocese of Raleigh's capability for loaning funds is near its capacity. So this gift campaign is more dependent on parishioner support than any of our previous campaigns. The Friars believe in the gift campaign and have pledged their prayers and participation by tithing 7% of their income for the next three years in addition to their offertory gift. They invite all fellow parishioners to join in tithing to gift. Let's take a look at the three phases of our planned gift building campaign. The Assisi Community Center. Located along the covered walkway between Clare and Thea Halls, the Assisi Community Center will be a hub for social, athletic, cultural, and worship activities for all parishioners. It will include a senior center and specific youth space where these two expanding populations can grow through ministry and fellowship. Clare Fellowship Hall Renovation The existing Clare Fellowship Hall will be reconfigured to accommodate conferences and large meetings such as Interfaith Community Outreach Projects, RCIA, Just Faith, and Youth Ministry. It will also facilitate our new parish strategic initiative, the Franciscan Coalition for Justice and Peace, an organization focused on social justice advocacy. Elizabeth Hall Expansion our Early Childhood Learning Center has become a loving stepping stone for our young parents, bringing them to service in our parish ministries. But the preschool needs of our families continue to grow. The ECLC is filled to capacity, serving over 170 children. Expanding Elizabeth Hall will nurture parish vitality by providing additional space for our growing preschool population. Our Lady of the Angels Chapel. We all need a sacred place in our lives. The Portiuncula Chapel was the place in Assisi where Francis experienced the joy of meeting God and the tenderness of God's merciful love. Our Portiuncula, Our Lady of the Angels Chapel, will be a simple, natural, sacred space in the heart of our parish campus. We will grow in faith by celebrating daily Eucharist here. Faith formation and our parish school students will pray here. Meditation, centering, rosary, and other prayer groups will gather. It will also be ideal for parish retreats, 
smaller weddings, funerals, and liturgical prayer. The Eucharist and sacraments celebrated in our large church feed us. Now, the warmth of a small chapel will also renew our souls. The Siena Center for Lifelong Learning. As a hub for our education and evangelization ministries, the Siena Center for Lifelong Learning will house educational programs that instill respect for Catholic Christian values, a lifelong love of learning, a strong sense of self-worth, and an active social conscience. The center will provide much needed space for our parish middle school and the escalating numbers of faith formation and evangelization ministry participants. The Early Childhood Learning Center. As our parish grows, we'll construct additional classrooms so the love and joy of the Early Childhood Learning Center may be experienced by more of our young families and by the next generation of Catholics. I love everything about the church, the Catholic Church, and I can never see myself leaving it or not being involved with it for a week. I, I, I would hope to come back to St. Francis when I graduate so that I can teach at the Franciscan School and be involved here in every ministry and I'll encourage my family to and I've, I've gotten my friends involved. I just think it's something that is so important. It's important to me. It's the one thing in my life that is always there. It's like my family and the church. They're never going to leave. Um, it, I always find people there that I just feel so comfortable around. So yes, I'll always be involved in the church, hopefully in some way, shape or form. Thank you for taking the time to read my letter. I'm grateful that you've reviewed the brochure and watched this presentation. There are three things that I would like to ask of you. First, for your prayers, that we might grow in faith together as the Catholic community of St. Francis of Assisi. You may have noticed in the bulletin that there have been a column, Growing in Faith Together, Prayer Opportunities. This whole campaign has to be undergirded by the gifts of the Holy Spirit, that we might grow in faith together. It's not about brick and mortar or about raising dollars. It really is about us growing in faith together as a community. Secondly, I ask for your pledge, your sacrificial gift to this campaign. As friars, we sat down as a community to review our finances and decided that we would pledge 7% of our income. That's in addition to our offertory appeal and BAA. I ask you to do the same, to sit with your household and to prayerfully reflect upon what you can sacrificially give to this campaign. And thirdly, I ask for your participation that you might share your time and talent with this Catholic community, to share the gifts that God has bestowed upon you, to allow them to be nurtured and to be shared with our community. I stand here before the hearth of hospitality, the welcoming fireplace that invites us into this worship place. And I stand before the evangelists, the four gospel writers that send us forth that we might live out the gospel and take the gospel in our hearts into the world in which we live. I'm grateful to be a part of this Catholic community that we might continue in the next 25 years to grow in faith together. And I thank you for your prayers, your pledge, and your participation.